The beloved phone posit. One of the greatest shoes to ever be created. And one of the most expensive shoes to ever be created. I'm also say Penny Hardaway has the greatest sneaker line behind Michael Jordan. Yes, I said it. The beloved phone posit was one of the most sought out the shoes in the 2010s. It stayed pretty consistent throughout the years. Before I get into that, I have to give a brief summary about the phone posit. The phone posit was released in 1997, made for Penny Anthony Hardaway. But a lot of people don't know, Penny wasn't the first to wear his signature shoe. Sounds crazy, right? No, it was Mike Bibby. Mike Bibby wore the iconic Royal Phone Posit in the 1997 NCAA Final Four game. Iconic. After that, the Phone Posit was an instant classic. Due to the popularity of Penny Hardaway, Phone Posit became the most popular shoe at that time, even surpassing Jordan. Throughout the years, the Phone Posit was one of the most popular shoes of all time. A classic. Also throughout the years, the phone posit also evolved. We got the total phone posit max, also known as the Tim Duncan, the flight posits, the Barkley posit, and even some LeBrons used the phone posit material. The phone posit was on a tear. Fast forward to 2012, and that's when destruction came. Throughout 2012, the phone posit stayed pretty consistent. Nothing too crazy. Pretty cool colorways, but in 2012, we got one of the most iconic phone posits of all time, the Galaxy Phone Posit. First time I seen the Galaxy Phone Posit was at the All-Star Game 2012. Ray John Rondo had them on, and the internet blew up. The whole world was impressed at this shift that Phone Posit had suddenly done. Usually, we only get solid color phone posits. But they wanted to try something different with this Galaxy print. It was an instant classic. The world went nuts. But little do they know, that was the beginning of the end. Good old Nike. Can I say I really blame them? When they see something good's going on, continue to shove it down our throat. They dropped a million colorways in 2012, 13, and ongoing of the graphic phone pauses. And like I said, a lot of this stuff was hit and miss the beginning of the end when nike starts something they gonna shove it down our throats and that's exactly what they did for the next couple of years this is not the first time why don't you think you see some of your favorites anymore on feet it's not that people don't really like them it's just the hype is dead because nike shove it down our throat the blazer the harachi and currently the dunk and the phone posit became victim of it. They was dropping bullshit after bullshit after bullshit after bullshit after bullshit after bullshit. Why are we getting Gene phone posit, elephant print phone posit, Timberland phone posits at this point? It's not even about phone pauses anymore. They just wanted to make a quick buck. This shit is terrible. Eventually, people got tired of this bullshit. It was more terrible drops after more terrible drops. It was just a continuous of terrible drops. I'm getting mad thinking about it now. Like, I'm going off script. The, the shit was terrible. Like, please. Like, why don't you think we see the phone pause anymore? It needed to go in the vault, sadly. And today, scrolling on TikTok and Instagram, we got all these fake sneakerheads saying this. Next, we got the phone posits. I don't remember the last time I walked around the world and seen a motherfucker wearing phone posits. I don't think they're ugly, but they just don't hit the same. You can't tell me they don't hit the same. Throughout the last couple years, the phone posit has been on freeze. I haven't seen them that much. I'm going to keep it a buck. Rightfully so, though. Bullshit after bullshit after bullshit. Don't bring it back until you finally get it right. 
But what did they continue to do in 2023? Drop more bullshit. Would a phone posit ever make its return again? I don't know. We're getting a couple big releases this year. And hopefully, hopefully, the phone posit can make its way back to popularity. But until then, the phone posit is dead. Leave this shit alone. What y'all think? Do y'all think the phone posit can make a comeback? Are they dead? Did they have their time? I'm missing them. Not gonna lie, but they gotta stop dropping all these bullshit colorways. Like I said, some of them are hit or miss. Most of them are miss, but we need the good colorways back. If the phone posit is going to make a huge comeback, like I wanted to make a comeback. They have to drop the OGs, some colorways that haven't been retro yet. They have to stay in that simple color route. If they continue to drop this trash of this crazy, wacky-ass styles they've been dropping lately, the phone posit will stay dead and will continue to be dead. What do y'all think? Leave a comment.